Hey, um, we, uh, Rainier, what do you sometimes call Barry? Yeah. Okay, all right, sometimes called Barry. Also been known as Bubba. Yeah, <laughs> lots of fun. We're going to do Joe Biden's famous Parmesan chicken recipe today. Famoso cena di pollo a parmigiano. And uh, I'd like to to walk everybody through this, so I'm going to hand the camera off to, to Rainia. And Rainy, can we start with the end in mind right here? And just, we, here is the finished product, guys, with the Parmesan and the mozzarella, the homemade uh, sauce and rigatoni, just the way the president likes it. Uh, president Biden really likes rigatoni. So uh, the first time I met Dr. Stephen Covey was at Camp David, the Camp David Resort. And you know his famous book, um, the seven habits of highly effective people. So one of them is begin with the end in mind. Um, so we actually have that up on the wall over here, Rainia. Can you film the seven habits of highly effective people? So number two, begin with the end in mind. And later on, I was trained by him personally in the White House and graduated his course. So Rainia, let's begin with the end in mind. We have the finished product right here. This is Joe Biden's famous Parmesan chicken recipe. And Rainy, do you want to show them lined up in the pan and how we got them like this? Okay, is that coming out real good, sweetie? Yeah. Okay, so let me go over the ingredients for everybody for this recipe. Um, what we did was we started with a big pot. So I will bring him over to the table. We had one whole onion the recipe calls for. I'm going to give you guys this recipe. It's on our website, uh, presidentialculinarymuseum.org, if you want to download it. Um, chopped up one onion, put it in here with five, six cloves of garlic, and for about five minutes with some olive oil, um, we simmered that down. And then, uh, Rainy, take a, a nice shot of those cans of tomatoes there because you want to use the real San Marzano tomatoes from Italy, and these are grown right by Vesuvius with the lava soil. So um, we took, you know, one can, and we just psh, dumped that right in the pot. And then the other two we strained and chopped up the tomatoes and put that in. So we ended up with this wonderful, wonderful sauce, guys. I know you can see that in there with the steam coming off of it. And ultimately, when you get done this sauce, look at that we put a little bit on the on each piece of chicken looks real nice you can see everything right there one thing i noticed about the first lady um jill biden she takes the garlic out and removes it so i actually left mine in i like the cloves of garlic okay uh but once you get your sauce done a little bit of salt and pepper to taste and that's it that's really the basis of her sauce. She does want you to put some basil in, okay? And you do that towards the end, you'll notice that in the recipe. So uh, for everybody who's who's looking at it right there, the only thing I wanna say is about the olive oil. Um, did everybody out there know that Jill is Italian? She's the first Italian American first lady in history. I actually was able to get some product of Italy, olive oil from Sicily, where her family's from. She's from a very small village, okay? So get some really good olive oil. Um, you know, it's worth it. And if it says product of Italy on the bottle, that means it's, it's good, it's the real thing. And the very next item you wanna do is obviously the chicken. And today I had some Tyson chicken. And I actually bought, um, Rainy, if you wanna show them the Tyson package, the extra thin chicken breast slices here they are right here sweetie yep the tyson extra thin but the thing is if you buy the big thick ones then you're gonna have to pound them out thin put them in a one gallon bag and pound them thin okay sometimes we even use the the back of a skillet to pound them thin but these were already thin and here with a couple of eggs and milk, we had the egg mixture to dredge in, okay? 
So yeah, your chicken is just going to go right in there and get them in deep to where we can dredge them and bring them over here to the rest of the recipe requires Italian breadcrumbs. And this was crazy about Jill. I had never seen this before in my life, but she actually is using um, the Parmesan cheese. Let me just rinse my hands off there, guys, because that's for all eggs. But she's got Parmesan cheese mixed in with the breadcrumbs, grated Parmesan cheese. So everybody has seen that before. But I've never seen a person say to please have grated mozzarella cheese. So where are you going to get that? If you don't live in an Italian city with an Italian market and community, um, you're going to have to buy sliced mozzarella and do like I did and hand grate this. Okay? To get it small enough so that when you go to do the chicken, look at that. You just coat it with the Italian breadcrumbs and that Parmesan is mixed in there with the grated mozzarella. Try to get it to where, look, there's a fissure in there, a little bit of a crack. And then you can kind of dust them off. A little bit okay and over here come on over here a little bit rainy we'll we'll put this on and just medium heat but I've got them up to about six and once it gets hot enough we'll put the chicken in there okay I've also got here a pan ready to go with nice dry paper towels for blotting okay and every time you touch that chicken, make sure you wash your hands because we don't want to cross-contaminate with the raw chicken. But uh, let's take a look here now. So into the skillet it went. We did all this chicken, guys. We took it out of the blotting pan and drying. We lined it up here, a little bit of sauce, all the chicken for your family. Then a little bit more sauce on top of that. And more of this mozzarella. Or as my cousin Anthony says, mozzarella. It's not mozzarella. It's mozzarella. Eh? Okay, mozzarella. And if you want to put some more of that uh, grated, feel free. You can never have enough cheese. Okay. This was some wonderful, wonderful Locatelli grated. All right, right there. Not a problem. Looking awesome. Don't forget one thing I did uh, not mention was with the egg, uh, three eggs, a little half cup of milk. Okay. And look whose eggs we were using today. Can you see those, Rainy, from our Polish chickens out back? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so uh, that was nice. And like I said, the, the fresh garlic. Pretty simple recipe. I've got the rigatoni already cooked off for everybody. And what we want to do with this chicken is can we pop it in the oven, Rainy? Yeah. All right. I'm going to open up the oven. 350 degrees. About 20 to 25 minutes. And do yourself a favor. Be safe. Get one of those very thin bimetallic stem thermometers and check it and even when you're using these make sure that every time you poke it in that raw chicken that you're sanitizing your thermometer also so not a bad idea uh, this is little ways that cross-contamination occurs now let me just show you here how to do one of the chickens okay because we've got this one here and we like to check the oil, so we'll ask Randy to come on over here. Oh, I, I threw a little bit of oil in there, and it popped. That's when you know it's ready. Let's put the chicken in. Maybe you stand over there, Randy, and let's put it in. In with that oil there. We don't want to disturb it too much. And what I have is, um, I've got a spatula and a tong and I just try to gently fold it over but so it doesn't splash I kind of use the tong 
to catch it a little bit. And you can just go on ahead and do all your chicken for the family and line it up here on the pan. And then Rainy, watch the heat, but let's show them what's happening in the oven. Okay. So that's looking good, guys. Like I said, 20 to 25 minutes. And then serve that over some rigatoni. And we're waiting for Stormy to come home tonight. But uh, Rainy, I think if you shoot this dish, the finished product here, this is really, we could say this is ready for two people. So that's the whole finished product ready for two. And each person can have one chicken breast. And there's plenty of rigatoni and this is just sitting here, so it's getting a little bit cold, guys. But, um, Rainy, we're going to put it in the Swedish microwave when Mom comes home later. And maybe zap it for two minutes, and it'll bring the heat back on there. So that's not hard to do. Uh, if you want to have this ready and pre-prepared. And... Come on, guys. We'll finish today with Joe Biden's famous Parmesan chicken. Come on back over here, Rainy. Let's let him see this chicken. Um, get a little bit closer, honey. You can hear it bubbling and sizzling. She's got kind of a close-up on there. And if you want to check it, you know, because you're not trying to cook it here, but look, that's nice and brown. That's nice. So you're not cooking the whole thing right now, guys. You're just getting a beautiful brown on there, and it's going to be finished in the oven, okay? That 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. And... I think this is awesome. Randy, you ready to have Joe Biden's uh, famous chicken parmesan tonight? Yes. Okay, I see the camera saying yes. So, all right, I'll steal the steal the the camera back from you, Randy. Thank you so much for your help, guys. Signing off today with Joe Biden's famous parmesan chicken recipe. If you would like this recipe, um, it's available at www.presidential culinarymuseum.com and just feel free to download it also www.presidentialculinarymuseum.org and thanks so much everybody